What's up guys, it's Titan, Titans of CNC. Oh, and today's Christmas. I got a big old truck out here with a massive machine. Now this machine is 43,000 pounds. It's a CNC horizontal HSK 160 horsepower on the lower end and it's a beast. We actually went and prepared our floor up the concrete, went 30 inches down, put a steel plate, put a cage of rebar, and actually extra hard concrete, and then like leveled it perfectly. There's three of them since there's three feet on this machine, and uh, I'm excited. So they're actually gonna take the box off of the truck, they're gonna uncage it, they're gonna unwrap it, and we're gonna see what this machine is. So we got this bad boy in the building right now. This is the back end. You can see we're running our electrical at the same exact time. But check it out. It's our on and off switch right here. What is it? What is it? Oh, oh man. A81NX. Check it out. Makino in the house. What's great about this is that when you go to Boeing, you go to the big companies that are doing big things, these are the machines that you see stacked wide. And who teaches you how to actually use this, right? When you look at our fixed string series that we actually designed, that fixed string goes not only on three axes and five axes, but it's like, how do you design the tombstones? How do you make it all happen? So we're taking education to the highest level. We have our new Aerospace Academy coming out. We're gonna do crazy big string, crazy programs, crazy tutorials, and we're gonna give it to everyone for free to help take this trade and industry to a whole nother level. All right, so the Makino is set. Boom, the feet are set. Everything is nice and rigid. This thing is a beast. And uh, let me show you a couple things. So, one, it's big, right? So, I can like reach up like this. Oh, like th this thing is huge. All right, so this is a horizontal mill, okay? That means that we load it from the front. So this is where the pallet, the tombstone actually sits right here, right? And basically has, they can have as many sides as you want, but usually you got four different sides and then the whole thing rotates like this, right? So one will sit here. We'll have stairs down here to stand on. And basically we will load the machine here. Look at how big this is. Oh, it's so big. Like, look at that. 630 millimeter crazy but we're gonna load it here and this whole wall right here actually pivots 180 boom taking this tombstone put it in there next to the spindle and the one that's actually being cut that one actually rotates out over here so we can change it and the machine keeps running all right check this out so look at how big this spindle is it's beefy so hsk 100 Huge horsepower on the lower end, 60 horsepower. Oh, this is this is where the other tombstone, this is where the pallet, the tombstone basically fits right here. Huge in here. So I'm showing you a little bit, but right now it's really just, it's all about setup. All right, so we come to this side over here. Boom. And I got my service technicians from Makino. These guys are amazing. They were here yesterday when the machine arrived and they've just been here. They're gonna be here all week so we can get the machine up and running. And uh, this is it. They're putting everything together. Everything has to get put together. What's up, Chris? How are you, man? I'm good, how are you doing? Oh, Chris from Akina. Hello, so, everyone. Yeah, so you, uh, this is what you do. You actually travel around, go to different shops, you set up the machines and get them all dialed for everybody. Huh? This is what I do, yeah. I'm That's actually awesome. local to your area, so. San Jose. San Jose. California, west side. Yes, sir. Oh, so 
What are you doing right now? Uh, I'm currently hooking up your spindle oil chiller. Uh, I'm just running all the electrical for it, getting it powered up. So when we throw power to the machine, we're ready to go. That's awesome. Next cool. step is throw power, and hopefully we're changing tools. We just park. We just gave them some HSK 100 tools. Okay, got to be excited about that because they're massive. But they're going to go ahead and switch out some tools and get things running. Thanks, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you. What's up, Jason? How are you? So yeah. where, where are you out of? Florida. Out of Florida. Came all the way out here to help us out. Yes, sir. Cool. Again here yesterday. I mean, the Makino service is amazing. These guys, two of them are here just making sure that everything goes perfect. So what are you working on now? Uh, we're just kind of working our way around the machine. Uh, next up is the ATC cover. So just getting all the switches ready. Look at that carousel all the way over. And the big cover is going to go on top. Cool. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> to end this video, I just want to bring my boy Jeff. What's up, Jeff? What's up? Hey, thank oh. you. A lot of you guys already know Jeff. He's in some of the cooling videos and some of the other videos we do on different machines and stuff. And I love this guy, all right? I put a lot of trust into him and now we're even gonna put more trust in, all right? So as we mentor a lot of the machinists out there, as we actually speak to you, one thing that I always talk about is solving people's problems. If you solve the right problems, you can actually do good in this industry. So I love the fact that Jeff actually gets here half an hour before anybody and actually tops off all the cooling. He takes care of a lot of different problems and different things in the shop that uh, need taken care of and he jumps at it to take care of it. You came into the trade, what, three years ago? Yep. You were a bartender before? Bartender, yep. Dad wanted you to get in a trade and he used yep. to watch the TV show and sent me a letter and there's a cool story about it, but we ended up hiring you. That's right. And now you set up lays, set up mills, set up five axis, you program lays and mills, yep. make it happen. Yep. And now we're giving Jeff a crazy opportunity. So, so crazy. I'm excited. Uh, this has got a massive spindle, 60 horsepower. We're going to be able to run tools that we've never been able to run before in the shop. It's going to just open up the doors to all new aspects for me personally, learning this machine. I've ran other machines here, but this is just a huge step up. And I am oh. extremely humbled by this opportunity, and I really That's appreciate awesome. it. Put in a big old <laughs> Harvey Ultra 8X. Oh my gosh. Boom. Yeah. Just crank into some big titanium and stuff. <laughs> Can't wait. It's going to be good. It's going to be wait. good. You know, I could hire guys on the outside over the heads of some of my guys on the inside. But you know what? Why not give these guys an opportunity? Why not put the time in to actually train them? And as they learn, you guys can learn. We all learn, mm -hmm. right? And that's how you do it. So Jeff is getting a crazy opportunity. Is everything he knows as a machinist and, and the machines. And because our team is a family, I look at Jeff and I'm sincerely happy for you for you to be getting the opportunity. And I want to see him grow and we all grow. We all learn, yeah. make it happen. Boom, Titans of CNC.